so hello guys now here I have some new stuff and want to talk to you about them first of all this is a gift from my father this is a Bosch portal tool here you can see it and I think it will be great addition to my garage to unscrew some bolts which are already loose uh, with the proper tools here you can see uh, that uh, this cordless driver has the charger uh, and uh, the battery itself and <laughs> uh, it is very good now <coughs> I have the ability to work with the fasteners uh, much more faster and quicker and unscrew some bolts which uh, take me uh, a very long time to do with hand ratchet so guys here you can see the model itself this is a Switzerland made Bosch uh, this is old school Bosch mm, and the quality is superb uh, I was able to attach the sockets on uh, this cordless driver here you can see it, that I have uh, some adapters uh, and I was able to dig uh, 3 8 and quarter inch adapters uh, from the um, accessory set I have in my garage that are made by DeWalt and I have reviewed it uh, in my previous videos so now it is easy for me to do the job with half with a quarter inch and three eight uh, drive uh, bolts uh, or uh, anything. Uh, also, I have some additional adapters which convert three eight to half inch. Now I will show you it, guys. Uh, here they are. Uh, the adapter uh, I mentioned now is made by Husky USA old stuff uh, and uh, it is uh, possible now to convert this 3.8 uh, adapter to half inch and then uh, I can attach half inch socket on it and work uh, with half inch drive uh, or uh, I can came on the first setup, setup and use 3.8 I think 3.8 will be more enough to work with this cordless uh, tool uh, also guys uh, I have uh, one special edition now and I will show you what about I'm talking when I was replacing my shock absorbers uh, I have some difficulties to hold the uh, rod of the shock on its place uh, there are uh, many videos on YouTube uh, where uh, guys show you how to remove the shocks, but they don't speak about how to hold the rod of the shock and this is the main uh, aim of uh, my uh, video now to show you how to do it. This is my custom made tool. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter open end wrench which I modified and mm, machined so that now uh, it is uh, able to hold the shock rod in the place here is the shock itself and when you try to remove the top bolts from it uh, the rod itself always spins guys and uh, if you are showing how to remove the shock you must show how to hold this uh, rod in the place uh, and uh, the tool I uh, developed here uh, mm, helps me to do it very good here you can see i'm demonstrating now about what i'm talking and uh, this uh, wrench now holds this uh, rod very good and uh, it does not move when you uh, unscrew the mounting bolts also i bent the wrench uh, on uh, 45 uh, gradus uh, because uh, the room uh, on the front uh, shock mounting uh, areas is not very big 
and you will be able to work with the bent uh, wrench better uh, also uh, this is my go-to tool when I am working on the shocks this is hazard uh, valve adjusting wrench uh, this is official Mercedes uh, tool and uh, this is a 17 millimeter open wrench and uh, the offset it has is great to uh, remove uh, the front shocks from W210 chassis. So guys, and now uh, let's move on and I will show you the mounted shock uh, and its uh, mounting uh, um, yeah. setup mm -hmm. and I will demonstrate how I am using these two wrenches I showed you early. Uh, the first uh, the first job is to remove this uh, plastic cap and uh, it is uh, very difficult to remove it with hands yes. so now uh, for uh, this I am going to use some uh, house grip pliers or uh, spark plug butt pliers uh, I have here uh, this is made by top tool and uh, this helps me a lot to remove uh, the plastic cap from the shock absorber top mounting place here we are guys and uh, i have removed with this tool this uh, cap very easily uh, now let's move on and uh, here you can see on the top of the shock that uh, it has uh, two main bolts. The first bolt uh, which secures the uh, mount it, uh, point and the second which uh, double secures it. Uh, and uh, uh, you must remove both of them to remove the shock from the car. But removing the bolts especially uh, the mm, first bolt is very very difficult because the rod is all, always uh, always uh, moving and uh, it is a very mm, unpleasant job with no uh, with no special tool how uh, we can hold this rod uh, well, this was the main question uh, which uh, was behind me and that's why I developed my own tool to do this job. Guys, I have searched online a lot of and I did not find any Mercedes special tool for this job. Uh, even uh, some guys are using this Cobra Knipex pliers. Yes, you can hold this with it, but it is very difficult. Uh, the room is uh, not enough and these pliers have the jaws which are very rough and uh, you will damage the uh, top mounting of the shock. And if you want to do the job accurate, uh, the adjustable pliers is not tool for this. Also guys, uh, remove 6 point sockets from 6 to 8. Uh, no of them will fit. Six is Doesn't. small in diameter. Uh, eight is bigger. It goes through and does nothing. And seven is also small. It does not fit. Uh, so this uh, shock absorber uh, uh, rods are uh, specially designed. Uh, this is D-profile. Uh, WV and Mercedes use uh, this. VW and Mercedes use this uh, shape uh, of the shock rods. And uh, two I have developed to work on both manufacturers uh, shock absorbers. Now, guys, I will demonstrate how I was able to uh, use uh, my custom tool. This is a regular Belzer 17mm uh, wrench and if you cut uh, the uh, hole here and uh, we'll put this wrench on the rod you can the jaws are long and it will hit some uh, houses uh, here and some clamps uh, and it will not allow you to work uh, with uh, no additional difficulties so jaws uh, must be 
cut also. Uh, here is uh, my tool and here is uh, how it feels on the uh, shock rod itself and uh, you can very easily fix it on the place and then work with the bolts to remove or to tighten it. Uh, the wrench uh, I show you here uh, fits on the rod uh, from every angle and uh, it is your uh, decision uh, to choose the angle and then work with the uh, shock absorber uh, with right way. Also it will not damage the shock rod, will not scratch it or uh, sharp it and uh, do some other uh, non or recognizable jobs with it. Uh, here is uh, my 70 mm has uh, range and now you can see how good it uh, fits uh, to the uh, bolts of the uh, top uh, mounting point of the shock absorber and uh, because this is a uh, very long range uh, the effort and um, torque uh, you can apply with it is very good uh, and uh, you can use it with this situation where it hits on the front fender but uh, regard to the offset it has uh, it uh, grabs uh, the mounting bolts uh, simply as some here is the uh, offset and it works uh, very good for this job uh, I am now repeating that this wrench was developed to adjust while on the Mercedes uh, engines uh, you hold the uh, first bolt and then you can remove uh, the other bolt with a regular 17mm uh, uh, opening range or regular 17mm socket. Uh, I don't, I don't uh, recommend to use some box and wrenches here because box and wrenches are uh, 12 points and I don't like to use 12 points uh, on the car if it is not mandatory. Mm -hmm. At least, guys, here I am uh, applying some uh, mm -hmm. silicone uh, on the mm, cap itself and uh, I am putting it on its place. Now uh, it sits on very good uh, and very securely. Uh, here is uh, the, the right side of my car. Uh, here you can see also that here, uh, the um, working place is much more tightly than it was uh, on the left. Uh, let's remove this cap with the uh, house grip pliers as we did on the right side, on the left side of the, on the right side of the car. Excuse me, guys. Uh, and uh, now uh, let's uh, look closer uh, how uh, the um, uh, uh, bolt itself a uh, look. Uh, the construction is the same, but uh, I am repeating now that the working area here is restricted regard to this brake uh, booster house. But I did not remove it and worked with it installed. Now I will uh, move the camera to allow you to see uh, this uh, setup uh, much more detail And here we are guys and uh, now uh, the mm, shock rod is seen very good and bolts are uh, visible very good also. Mm, how can we now uh, hold the shock rod? With no problems with the tool I have showed you. Here it is, this wrench uh, holds the rod simply perfect. And uh, also, 
<coughs> with the half wrench you can uh, unscrew the mounting bolts uh, holding the shock rod uh, during this job. Uh, I uh, I think that uh, these are the right tools uh, which allow you to work. I am repeating now with uh, pleasure and with no difficulties on the front shocks of your W210 Mercedes. Uh, guys, uh, um, I want to tell you that uh, if any of you wants uh, this type of wrench uh, to work with his or her Mercedes, just contact to me and I will tell you detailed information how to do it and also I will recommend uh, some <coughs> proper tools to uh, do uh, this. <coughs> uh, now I am testing my cordless driver. We will remove the lug nuts which are <laughs> which are torqued to 110 newton meters and it cannot do it because the max torque uh, this cordless uh, allows you to do is 18 newton meters. But uh, when you <coughs> will uh, unscrew the bolt with proper tool, then the cordless driver will be very good to remove it and uh, do not spend the time to <coughs> work with the pen tool with it and also you can tight it with the cordless driver and then use some breaker bars or uh, proper torque wrench to torque down your fastener I'm pretty sure that uh, the lug nuts are a big challenge for this guy but some other bolts on my car uh, which have smaller diameter than 17 millimeters will be unbolted with this guy with no problems and uh, at once I'm repeating that it allows me to do the job uh, quickly so guys this was a little informational video my updates are included here if you like please subscribe thank you for watching the channel uh, and goodbye